It is the Halloween special with your nerd side. I'm your host, Fonseca, and I'm taking uh, Napa City Ghost Tours with me. I've got Devin and Ellen with me. Uh, they really find the places that are haunted throughout the Bay Area up north. And this time we go to the Ride Hotel, which is located in Walnut Grove, California, a speakeasy. And let me tell you something. This place was creepy when I got there. It had this shining feel. A lot of people were killed there. A lot of mafia stuff. A lot of um, bootlegging going around. Let's get into it. I'm going to sit down with them first, describe the place, and then we're going to walk around so we can find anybody to talk to us. I'm going to stop down the, well, show once in a while because I did find some things that were a little eerie that we heard. Let's start your Halloween special, shall we? Uh, we are at the Ride Hotel, and this is for another Halloween special. And I love coming out here with you guys, Ellen and Devin. And I, I bug you guys all the time because you guys get the best spirits. You bring out the best. And uh, we were talking about this for like a few days, yeah. actually weeks, about doing stuff. First, we were going to go do one thing and then another thing. But you brought me out to the Ride Hotel, which is in Walnut Grove. Why did I say Ride? It used oh. to be a town, but the entire town burned down. Ellen, do you want to give me some background about this? Because as soon as I walked in, I felt weird. Yeah. and crazy. Devin took me around for a little while. We went down there. He tried to take me to the women's room and do stuff, but that's not a different story. That's for uh, Valentine's Day. But give me some background about this. What exactly happened to this hotel? What, I mean, it, I heard it's speakeasy. What's yeah. the background? Well, it was built in 1927, okay. right in the middle of Prohibition. Okay. And it was built as a brothel and a speakeasy. Mm -hmm. The back wall right there didn't used to be there. It was not windows. It was solid. And we think the door was right over here. Um, so that you couldn't see in. Okay. Um, the floor had a big tunnel underneath it that was a stash and crash so you could throw your drinks in there so what the cops created. So, so I'm being really serious. Would they make the alcohol here or just serve it? They had a still in the tunnels. Jesus. So this is, so what we see in Elliot Ness, the untouchables, all that stuff, this really happened here in California yes, during it totally the, did. It totally did. And there so, was a lot of Hollywood here a while lot it was happening. Coming to drink and stuff. So can I assume that mafia here too? Uh, totally. So a lot completely. of murders here. And they yeah. probably buried bodies out there. Oh, to, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or threw them in the Delta. Yeah. So that is true. So so as you probably saw the pictures in front of the, the Ride Hotel, there's a Delta in front that runs up to Sacramento. Right. So that river right there is probably... I've heard, and when I was in Stockton, I read about it, that they a lot of bodies were always found in there. Yes, yes. So a lot of stuff happened there. They definitely the probably dragged that river more than once for okay, so, bodies. Okay, so continue on. So the Ride Hotel was built in the 20s? 20s, 1927. And we came in first to the speakeasy downstairs because this is the hottest spot. Yes. And as I'm looking around, and I told you this, we walked to the front door. Big thick door that Devin showed me earlier. A little peak hole. Yeah. That's the original door and yes. how you get through. Then you gotta go over to the right downstairs. There's another thick door and a coat check girl, just like in the movies, and you had to check in again to get into speakeasy. You had to know the password. <sighs> okay, what well, was that this password? Right. <laughs> okay, so before we get an investigation, I got this so far. So where are we right now? What room is this? We call this the speakeasy. The, and this really was the It speakeasy. really was. And they kept children down here during the daytime because it was a brothel upstairs. So oh, a lot of my. the working so girls had children. So not only, we had, we had gangsters here. Mm -hmm. We had yeah. illegal alcohol. We had prostitutes. Yes. And I'm assuming we're going to get this a little later. Probably some murders you know and of deaths that yes. happened here. Yes. Were there any deaths... We're going to start with your all your equipment. Were there any murders or deaths in here that you know of? Yes. How many do you think? There's probably two. There's also a tragic drowning in the pool. Oh, the pool that was over there? Yes. Um, okay. Yes. And, and pool's right outside. Do you guys want to swim? <laughs> no, I do. All right. All right, and then before we start this, with you today, geez, this guy's all, who, who, who we got this gentleman back here? This is Eric. Eric, and he's got a thing in his hand from Ghostbusters. What exactly is that it's thing? It's an SLS. It detects stick figures. You can see signatures of, like, I guess it's slight heat signatures. And then, Eric, what time are we going to start using that? Or are you going to use it through the whole night? It's fired up now, and whenever you guys are ready to use it. So when we sit around and we're starting to do stuff, you might see it and stuff like that. So do me a favor. Don't talk too much. Just, you just, I know you don't, I know you, I know, I'm like, you don't have to tell me constantly. You just go. 
Fonz, we, we got something. We got it over here. You get over here, and then I'll come over, and we'll try to get uh, Paul to take some pictures. Of Paul from TuneIn's with us, with all his cameras set up over in the corner, and we have a rolling camera down here, especially on the other part. And then the beautiful lady that came with you today, who is this with us? This is Heidi. And Heidi, are you new to the ghost hunting? or? Uh, yes, I am new to ghost hunting. I actually was part of the pilot. Oh, wow. We shot for Hulu. Oh, congratulations with that. Heidi, Heidi is one of our whores. You're one of... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yes, I'm kidding, but, I am. Yeah, she, I am. She, she played one of our uh, one of our speakeasy girls and one of our uh, prostitutes here for the pilot that we shot. Yeah, yeah. They asked me to play the whore, but I don't whore myself out that way. So I ended up... And then... He can't act. That's I can't, all. That's I, can't, all. I, can't, I can't act. I just be really myself. So with, you had the rods, and the rods go together when you ask so many questions. And you have... Is that the... I always want to say EKG. It's not an EKG, right? That's Ghostbuster. A K2? A K2. A K2. And that either hot lights up or whatever and some yeah, of that. I've already been getting hits. You've been hits. Okay. All right. I my my ghost hunting is in your hands. And again, where we start, the name of your if people love going to ghost hunts. You have one in Napa. What's the name of it? Napa City Ghost and Legends. Yeah. What, what's the website though? NapaGhost.com. Okay, you get some freaky stuff on there. Yes. Yeah, then, you, you want to know, guys, know something while they're setting up right now? I always run into you guys in the strangest locations. <laughs> All right. So, what are the dolls for? Why do we have dolls? Oh, okay. So, as Ellen mentioned, it was kind of an impromptu daycare down here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And okay. There was or there is a little girl is yeah. she the one that died in the pool no that was a little no, boy that was a, that was a little boy, boy. boy. so is he, he still by the pool yes uh he hangs out a lot up in 210 and, and he comes pool. through and he comes down here so are we getting hits on that yep i can see that and then is this on that's not, that's on, not yet. on okay yet. That, that thing used to flip me up what i want to do is i want to come over to the stage area is that a hot here. spot yes all right we're going to come over to the stage area And now you just walked by one of the cat balls and they're very motion sensitive. Oh, they were going off earlier. A yeah. lot. Yeah. The, so they only go off when they move or yeah. some. Or when there's some kind of vibration or they're touched. Okay. And we use these as uh, mo motion sensors. Okay. Like right there. Um, now, what I want to do is, Heidi, let me borrow yours. Thanks. So as he's right now, we're in front of the stage, and on the floor, it's a wooden floor. It is set up, like if you're gonna have a wedding, uh, the disco ball is above, we dance, and this is, and I'm telling you, this place has got that, we uh, talked about it earlier with, with it's Devin, awesome. it's got that haunted mansion, not the haunted mansion, the Tower of Terror. And it's got that Art Deco kind of feeling in here, it hasn't seemed to have changed, and it's got a mist smell. So, um, what we're hoping to do is, uh, Abby likes to come out a lot and play with us. Um, she has a tendency to come through and start communicating. There was one morning, got another hit on the uh, cat ball. There was one morning I was setting up uh, for an event we were doing here, okay? And as I was setting it up, I was rolling tables over here and I've got my music blaring. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm in my vibe. And all of a sudden, I ran over my toe. Okay, because I was rolling one of the big tables, rolled over my toe, and I was like cussing. You know, I was like, ah, oh, damn it, my toe, right? And I hear a little girl laughing. Okay, and you know how kids are, you know, an adult hurts themselves, it's always kind of funny. So she started laughing at me getting hurt, and I was like, okay, Abby, you know, it's not funny, but it's kind of funny. Yeah. And I, and I actually, told her, I said, look, I, I don't have time to play with you. I got to get stuff ready. I said, but, uh, you know, make sure you come through and communicate with us later, right? Now, a little while later, there used to be a cat here at the Ride Hotel, a little cat. And used to the cat came in and came hung out with me for a little bit. And the then black cat? Actually, it was a black cat. Yeah, we pulled up and the black cat kept getting in oh, front of my car. Right. That was that, that was that lock. No, there was one here too. There was one here? I just saw it. And when we were walking in the front, it was walking around the back. There's a cat here. It's a black cat. You want to tell him? The cat was hit by a car. 
what the? There was a black cat out front. <laughs> you, what the fuck? We pulled up and there was a black cat. Not the one. Not the one over there. There was okay. just one here. And when I went back out there to get Paul, there was a black cat by my car. I didn't see the black cat. I don't know what he's talking. I about. I swear to God, while we're driving, I didn't talking, see it. I didn't I, see we it. We were talking. I, I saw, didn't see it, man. Are, okay, I, I, this is gonna be a bleep, real fast. <laughs> Look at me. You guys <laughs> with me? No. no. I didn't Tell see it. The there was a black cat. There was. I seen it like three times here. No, we have. I've never seen a black cat here since that cat was here. So what does that mean? I'm the Matrix. What, what's going on? <laughs> what the hell? Are you guys? Not, so it could be somebody else's cat, right? Make a phone call. Jesus. Out, you know? Okay, continue on. So me flipping out. So yeah, the um. So anyway, the 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 cat came in, and I was like, really, you know, I'm just playing with the cat. I love animals. Wait, wait. Is this the same cat that died? Yeah. So, but was it? No, no, it was still alive. Okay, this I was like, okay, <laughs> take it easy, take it easy. All right, go ahead. So, the cat goes into the back area, into the kitchen. Now, I'm only the only one down here. Okay, I'm the only one in this lower part of the building. And the next thing I know, the cat goes in the back, and I hear Kitty, a little girl yelling out Kitty. Yeah. So I was like, okay, well, she's got a friend to play with, right? Um. And that, that kind of was that. And then the cat got hit by a car. Now people see the black cat and they see So do people Abby. see the, have people said they've yeah. seen the black cat? Yeah, with her. I haven't seen it with her, but I saw a black cat. Well. I swear to God, it was like in my way of my car getting, <laughs> like when I was pulling out. I thought you saw it, not the other one. No, I, know. I didn't see the cat. I swear I, to God, I didn't, I didn't see, see the cat. Because I, I was just talking, we were joking yeah. about something about yeah. hookers I, or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, right ho. That's what I said. Yes. The right ho, yeah. So anyway, wow. okay. um, the other thing is, is that we we always bring little toys for her. Okay. Okay. And uh, actually, we're going to see right now which one she wants to work with. So, uh, Abby... Honey, if you're here, can you do me a favor and light up one of the meters? I have them in front of, well, let's see, what is it? I got a llama here. There are three dolls uh, set up in front of those K1 meters. And a raccoon. Which one do you think she's going to pick? The pink one. You think she's going to go to the I pink one? I like the pink one. Abby, pick the pink one. You think the llama? Okay, what about you, Heidi? Which one do you think she's going to pick? The raccoon? What about you? Pink. You think she's gonna go pink? Yeah. Eric? I'm thinking raccoon too. Alright, I kinda I'm I'm with Paul on this. I think it's the llama. So Abby, can you come over and pick one? If you pick one of these, you light up that meter, I'll make sure we leave it here and I'll hide it really good for you. Abby, can you please come over here and light up one of the meters? Devin's gonna give you one of these toys. And you don't have to worry about these guys. These these people here are all friends. I wouldn't put you in harm's way. Chills. You got a um, big man with us. Yeah, I know. We felt him. So is there someone else here with us? Yes, big man. Who's big man? Big man is the man that threw me out of my body. Is he a man that was up in the room with the prostitute? Yes. He threw a prostitute out the window. Yes. Yeah. And he he guards this place. He came in on a storm one night, and he was just incredibly powerful, and he's been powerful ever since. We also have the piano playing man. So is she scared to come here? Yeah. She gets scared. Usually we can talk her into it. It's just a little bit, takes a little bit of time. Um... She especially loves Devin, so usually he can cajole her into coming out. Abby, can you come out, please? So there's two things happening right now. Put your hand out, Aaron. Okay, sir. See how positioned he is. Now look at her. Yeah. So they're looking through the machine monitor right now that was set up to the Xbox, and they're checking out us as we sit on the stage. And in front of us to sit in the stage are three dolls I told you about. One is the raccoon, one is a pink uh, poodle, and one is a llama. And the KGs are set in front of it. And whatever one she wants to pick, she just gets close to the KG and the, should light up. They're all green right now. And usually when I've gone to different locations with them, and I've seen this before, they have lit up before. No, I feel cold. I felt cold. I felt cold all over my arms. Yeah. On my on my right side, I got chills. Right now. 
Okay, it looks like... That is so crazy. It's picking you up, but it's not normal. It's yeah, not, it's, it's not like a stick figure. It's, it's almost like so i just stopped down the show real fast because as we go through uh they were seeing all these hot spots on me through the meter you know they they actually looked at me something was sitting on my lap but i was going through the audio amped it up looked through all the little things and i did find something audio wise listen to this all right listen to it one more time What do you guys think it says? Something me or something like that? All right, let's continue our show. Let's get back to the Ride Hotel in Walnut Grove. Jesus. Is it picking up my mediumistic ability? <sighs> Is it picking up my hotness? Yeah. Because <laughs> I am delicious. My rods are. My ra- her rods are picking up delicious. <laughs> my rods are pointing directly at you. How many men have I said that, have said that to me <laughs> in my lifetime? My rods are directly pointing at you. Wow. Did you see the rods? The rods completely just went. Yeah, the rods just moved again. Did they? Yes. Do you mean if you're going to sit back a little bit? Just kind of put your legs side by side like this. How do you feel right now? I'm a little chilled on my right hand side. I usually get a tingling sensation at my right side when we have activity. Or activities about to start. So they could be walking, and I, I'm pretty sure, and I'm assuming, I always ask you this guys these questions, because these are questions I think pe- average people want to know. So let's say there's spirits here, and you said over hundreds here, all right? They're walking around. Now down here, since we're talking and all that stuff, they're going to start coming down here to see yeah, what the hell's going gather. on, right? They'll gather. So they're starting to gather down here now? Because I'm, my arms are both cold right now. Yeah. I feel like something's here. But if, if something's here right now, do you see anything on me? And it was I the, feel it was cold, in the 90s. and I feel like a wind's blowing here right now. Like right here, there's a wind. It was in the 90s today, so yeah. it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be, you know, cold. What the? Mm-hmm. Abby, come over and light up one of these okay. meters. Now this is the way she should look. Right. That's not the way she was looking just a minute ago. No. Look how massive he is. Yeah. Look at his whole signature now. I don't know what the hell's that. Is. I don't know what he's saying, but I love that uh, my signature is pretty massive. Do you know what I'm saying? It looks like there's something right between the two of you. There's something right between the two of you. Paul, look at this. See, there's Ellen. There's Aaron. It's kind of. This thing right here. Take your arm out and see if you can feel any coldness right there. And feel a little bit of this. The connect is mirrored down down more of what is. Temperature, just a little bit. I have nothing to say right now. I'm usually supposed to keep going, and I'm just sitting here. You guys are flipping me out a little bit. I feel like I have somebody sitting to my right. So what can this mean? Somebody's just sitting here like... Yeah, they're just gathered. The energy's gathering. As you can see, the, there's the K2 dolls. Meters. There's the dolls. But don't they usually okay. like cling to somebody that has a lot of energy or something yeah. like that? Because I've had friends that I've gone through before and they just cling to them. It's yeah, like my... like a beacon to them. And what about Paul right now? Because remember how the girl that had Down syndrome right. was really into him? Yeah. Do we have anybody going to him? He has two people behind him. We just got a hit on the raccoon. Okay, Abby, can you do it again, honey? Raccoon. Do we it got again. Got a hit on the raccoon. Can you do it again, honey? I know, is she still on the floor? Yeah, you have two people behind you. Like I'm not really sure. Right I here. see energy. I don't see like a, like male or female. Do you feel? Do you see something behind him? Right Can you look right at Paul real quick Watch. and see if you see anything Watch. behind somebody him? somebody creeping behind the pole. Shit. He keeps popping out. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys. When they say there's people creeping and all this stuff like that, my headphones pick up everything around here. So I'm my headphone, it feels like something's right behind me. I'm, I, you could say something over there, and I'm picking it up here, and it sounds like behind me. This flips me out. Abby, baby girl, can you do it again, honey? 
Have him look at Paul because there's two people behind Paul. Okay, I usually don't ask people to do this, but Abby, I'm a newcomer in this group. And Abby, I'm asking you something. Please. There are three dolls here. Devin has brought them for you. There's a raccoon, a poodle, and a llama. Here, you you know what? Let's put them right in between you guys. You okay. pick which one. We're going to put them right here. You pick right which here. one you want. And Devin's going to leave one here for you. I'm going to leave it right there for you. All right, there you go. All right, here we go. Which one do you want? What's your name, Allie? Abigail. Abigail. Abigail, which one of these do you want? You light up the one in front of it. The raccoon, the poodle, or the llama? Which one do you want out of these three? Sitting on Ellen's lap again. Sitting on my lap? Yeah. And, 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 since, we're, and since we're trying to get them to come and do stuff with us, is there any way to get them to cross over? Yes. That's okay. Nice Hold on a second. Is anything going on with me? Yeah. My left arm is totally freezing yeah, no, right now. She's like all in front of you now. Yeah, the, my arm right here is all cold. And she's gone. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. No, no, it's okay. Yeah, she's back. Okay, so okay, that's the way he should normally look. And that's the way Ellen should normally look. Now watch. I'm watching. Abby. Come on, honey, pick one of the... Uh... Hold on, hold on, quiet, quiet, quiet. Hold on a second, guys. Oh shit, I gotta play this stuff back. I think I'm getting stuff. Oh my, yeah, I gotta amp it up. I'm so sorry. Okay, that will be a cut right there. And what we're gonna do is go back there. I thought I heard something and I'm gonna amplify it up to see what I heard. I believe I just heard something. Okay, so I stopped it down again. I love doing the stopping down. I have two producers in the studio with me. Uh, they're all freaking out. Uh, looks like we amped it up the best we could. It looks either out or I'm out or get out. Listen to this. You want to play one more time? One more time. Let's hear it again. All right. Let's get back to the show and see if we find anything else. I know there's more things that I heard, so keep listening. <laughs> it's your Nerd Side Halloween special. Yeah, from Ride Hotel in Walnut Grove, California. Happy Halloween. So is the big man here? He is. But he's around everywhere. He's in the bar right now. Over there? Yeah. Yeah. He stands there and just kind of glares at people. He's also an enforcer. He has a tendency to, uh, he doesn't like women behind the bar at all. He actually has a big problem with women, uh, especially women of strength. Okay, uh, and what does he think of you? Oh. He hates you? Yeah, that's when he tried to take me over, and Devin saw his so face on my face. What made you guys, what made you guys want to stay here then? Well, it's fascinating, isn't it? I mean, yeah. it's, it's like proof of life after death. It's but, the ever-going quest to try to figure out what exactly is a ghost and what is the paranormal and, you know. But do you ever get nervous, like, this is something we shouldn't mess with? Or oh, yeah. is anything can happen bad to you? Yeah, yeah I do. I mean, I, I know I get that. Yeah, I mean... We regularly do cleansings on each other. Yeah, I see you guys do that. When we're finished, you yeah. always do a circle and you everyone right. out. And the fear factor is real, uh, but it's also very exciting. So, What are you looking for? What do you want that's out there that you find and go, this is what I really, really want to find and see? What is I it? I want to see a full-bodied apparition. Have you had that happen to you? I've seen a half of a body, but not a full-bodied. I've talked to people and they say they walk around the corner and they'll see like a lady standing there to somebody else and walks away. And they say they see this stuff, okay? Now, Devin, has that happened to you? Yes. And then after you see that, what, I mean, like, how, 
how how do I put this? It's how do we get that to get the proof of that to give the other people and go, this is really happening. There's so much evidence out there. Yeah. And there's so much evidence that there is something beyond this existence that we are on right now. Okay. Um, and energy is eternal. Okay. It just changes format. It changes design, if you will. Okay. With that being said, we can see these spirits around us. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of things going on side by side with us that we don't even realize. Now you find a full body apparition. What's next? Well, it's to find the next full body apparition. You just gotta get the yeah communication. You know, you want to like our big thing. There's lots of trophy hunting ghost hunters out there. Yeah. Okay, and I'm not downplaying them at all because yeah. they do just as much hard work as we do. But our thing is always trying to get them to cross over to the other side. Why, why are they staying here? Why, why are they in this hotel? I mean, it seems like... different reasons so, why. Remember you asked me, like, mm -hmm. hey, are you still Catholic? Are you downplaying Catholic? And right. I was born in Catholic. And I went to say... So I'm always believed... You were brought up to believe that there is supposed to be this amazing world over there. Right. I mean, this, if anything, this is hell because yeah. we're dying. There's pain and everything like that. I, I, they say it's worse down there, but it's pretty bad down here. I mean, I cry when somebody dies, you know, the pain and stuff like that. So, I mean, like, if I died and I'm stuck in here, it seems like it's worse than it was when you were alive. When you want to cross over or they just well, don't know? That's the thing. Um, okay, the reason I started doing crossings, the reason I started finding like-minded people to do crossings with was because I had a near-death experience. Okay. All right. And Did you see something? Yeah. I went over to the other side. I was gone for 17 minutes. What did you see? All right. Well, I saw me come out of my body, walk around the ER room. Okay. Um, I watched... Uh, Them my, working on you? Yeah. Well, yeah. No, I went over to... Because I was trying to figure out what was going on. And then I get to the end of the bed and there's all these people around it. And then I look in the bed and it's me. Yeah. And I'm like, I've got tubes in me and now, eyes. Do you ever think that, and, and I'm trying to play devil's advocate no, no, all the time. Ahead. Do yeah. you ever think like, well, I'm here. Right. My brain is just, it could be a dream or, or something to calm yourself right. down. Right. I mean, they always give explanations. Do you ever think that? Or do you think like maybe this I, will, I, or do you believe in it? You really believe? No, it I right? believe it because okay. I left the ER room and went backwards. And I. What do you mean you went backwards? Okay, everybody talks about the tunnel of light. Yeah. Okay, I watched the ER room where I was being worked on, mm -hmm. and it literally went down to an old tube TV set being shut off. It just kind of went down to a small rectangular. But you pulled size, back and out then, of it. Yeah, and I was going backwards. I just kept watching but did it you, and watching it. Let me ask you this, and I know, we, I know we're doing ghost hunting, but we're, asking, we're, we're on this. Yeah. Did you feel a, a sense of easiness, good, if you'd gone forward? I went all the way back, and I ended up sitting on this crushed red velvet couch. Yeah. And there's all these rolling hills. There's all these trees. Um, three people came up behind the couch and started communicating with me. And who were they? Um, some people say it was with spirit guides. Other people say it was guardian angels and what they say to you uh we had this long conversation about what was going on three feelings that i had immediately had the overwhelming feeling of coming home like it's going to be good to sleep in your own bed tonight after yeah. like seven months yeah you're getting stuff Something's standing right behind you okay um they love the stories don't they yeah, yeah. they i know that that's yeah. I, so yeah i can feel them now i can feel so, whoever it is like so yeah, yeah, just all of a sudden I got chilly. So, so hold so, on, hold on, yeah, I know. Yeah. You're the biggest skeptic. Are you cold? No. Nothing. I'm roasting. You're roasting hot? Yeah. Okay. All right, man. If anybody's in here, this gentleman right here, please. This is Paul. Hit him with go ice. give him whatever you want and go around him, okay? He really needs it. Uh, but continue. Go, go ahead and give Paul the icy hot, please. So you were yeah. on his penis. So yeah. you... <laughs> 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 
It hurts. So, so, it burns so, so good. So, so continue on until the three people yeah, so, you felt common. So the three people, now the feelings that I had, I had the overwhelming feeling of coming home. I wasn't in pain anymore, which was an amazing feeling, especially everything I was going through. Mm-hmm. And then on top of that, uh, I was surrounded by this m- crazy, intense feeling of love that I've never felt. Ever. And you got pulled out of the couch and you came back. Well, no, I was still on the couch. I sat there, talked to him. And then at the end of the conversation, I was given a choice. And the one who was, for lack of a better term, in charge and doing most of the speaking said, well, you've been given a great gift. You could either continue on with the work or continue on with the journey. So is this what made you? A hundred percent. Yeah. Came out for this. Yeah. Well, the first thing, the first thing I thought about was my kid. Yeah. Um, My kid was about two and a half, three years old at the time. He had cerebral palsy or he has cerebral Mm -hmm. palsy. And I didn't want to be the bad part of that story. Yeah. I wanted to be, you know, that's my kid. I'm, I have to be here for my kid. Yeah. Okay. And that's what made my choice. Yeah. Next thing I know, I am uh, slammed back into my body and I had been gone for 17 minutes. I was in the little goodbye room, Yeah. which for those of you who don't know what the goodbye room is, it's when they take your corpse and they put it in the goodbye room your family says goodbye to you and then they ship you off to the morgue yeah. so what happened something that made you do this come out uh, well, I lost my mother at age 10 yeah so I spent and I'm talking to Ellen I spent my life looking for her um, on the other side and learning how to communicate with the other side and didn't actually make contact until I was in my 40s hmm. so and that do you was, think she's here watching over you all the time? I don't think she's always here. I think she's got work to do on the other side, yeah. you know, that she's doing. But let me, let me ask you a question. And I'm asking this for both of you, sure. and uh-huh. I need this. Do sometimes we bug them too much? I think so, <laughs> because dad. my dad, when my dad died about six months later, my dad finally came through, and I said, Dad, where have you been? And he said, he said, will you quit bugging me? I'm with your mother. Yeah. Because you they know. have their own lives. Yes, you know what I mean? they have I'm their like, own journey. Yeah. They I just have. think I sometimes always pray to my mom, and I'm like, God damn it, I must be bugging her. Mom, I need this. Mom, I need that. Mom, <laughs> yeah. I need that. Well, who else is going to get me that new sports car? I want? Right? You know what I mean? I have to pray you to it. All right, let's get back into this. I'm sorry, did I go too deep, Eric? No. Too deep? All right. Thank you guys for sharing that. That's, yeah. that's awesome. No worries. No that's worries. That's good. I always do this with them. And I do know that when we have these little conversations, and we do have these conversations, that something happens and they start coming in and listening. I noticed that. Yeah. But I kept looking over here because I thought they were going to start moving yeah. stuff or anything. And I think if we move them to another time, Gavin. I know. The summer. Yeah. Are you the one that... So he's asking all those questions with the rods. And the rods cross over when it says yes... And right. when it's no, they they separate. The correct? Stage. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Man, she's digging that llama. All right. Can you make it? Can you make it go up bigger? Can you make it go to orange? Can you do that? A little bit stronger, honey. Okay, can you stop doing it for a second? Okay, Thank I, wa- you. I want you to sit. Hang on, I want you to save your energy. I'm going to count to three. Oh, and this I- one up. Yeah, I want. I'm going to count to three, and then you're going to do it bigger. Okay, I want you to try to go all the way to the orange one. All right. No, hang on. One. Two, three. How many times have you guys been here? Uh, I think at least 10 for me. Yeah, and I've, I've been working it since 2005, so. But how long have you done the ghost thing? Here? Coming here with ghosts and. Since 2005. 2005. And, yeah. But you came on later on? Yeah. Yeah. What'd you think when you first walked through the door of this place? I was, thought it was very haunted. I came in about 2015. Oh, so. she just went yellow. Yeah, there we go. Yellow. Do it again, honey. Did I scare you? <laughs> really? Did I scare you? Did Paul scare you? Is it the camera? 
Okay, I tell you what, if, you, if, if you're not going to do the yellow, can you light them both up? Give it a really wow, big push. Wow, dude. Give it a really big push. So she's pushing both of them, and it's solid green for both. Oh, no, she, watch, she'll, go, she'll do it again. Here, you want some of this? Here, go ahead. There you go. Take a little bit. There you go. That helps. That's a crazy feeling when they pull like that. Yeah. Because you can literally feel it like coming off of your leg. So what he's trying to do is stand in next to her, trying to get the spirit to oh, feed off of him. Up. Good girl. So the, I notice I notice they have cameras constantly going. Are they recording all the time? I don't know. I you know I don't even know if they're on. Did she, uh, but has she ever said she caught anything on it? Uh, I've I've seen one where the front door opened by itself completely and there was no wind and it's on a you know one of those bars yeah so it would it would swing back heavy i've and it literally opened i thought i just heard a cat meow did you i told you dude i told you i heard it i swear i can hear a cat a cat okay if i tell you guys something you promise you won't you didn't see a cat or No. So when we were sitting on the stage, I thought I heard something. I thought I heard a girl. Okay. So I have to go back and listen for a girl. Yeah, there was so that's the end of segment one of your Halloween special, Your Nerd Side. So out of that, that was about, I'll say, we, we I edited it down a little bit. That was about an hour of us just chit-chatting, a lot of personal stuff, some joking, but getting stuff done. And we're just in the speakeasy. You got that so far? So... I shut down the camera after I said I heard something, which was earlier, that earlier one that I played for you guys. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so during this time, I shut down the recorder. Paul's talking to me by the back bar, and all the ghost hunters went outside for smoke. Some are in the restroom, but I'm talking to Paul, and then all of a sudden I say to Paul, I start yelling and cussing and everything in the world. You will not believe me. I am totally screaming and yelling. And I had no recorder on, but lucky me, guess what I had on? The backup recorder that was just trying to get some sound in there while we're walking around doing other stuff in case I catch a sound, right? All right. This is the backup recorder when we were in break time. Listen to what I say and listen how I freak out. Listen, I saw something. I'm going to roll down tape. Take a, take a, take five. Yeah, like 9, 9.30. It says an hour and a half right now. So. What do you think? You get some good stuff? Yeah, I can make you sound good. There's a Scooby-Doo filling in here. What do you think? Would you stay here? I mean, sure. If I didn't know, probably. But now you won't stay here? Turn my phone off. So if I did, would you stay here? Yeah. This is where I was going to get a room for you guys to spend the night. Would you spend the night, yes or no? If I had to. I I don't know if I would. I think, Why? I think I'd be up all night. I think I'd have anxiety. Just thinking about stuff? Yeah. What if we could tell you about the room, we pitch in the room for suicide? You didn't tell me anything. What'd you say? Oh shit! I just saw somebody there. Holy shit! Dude, there was just a fucking lady there. Holy shit! Did you see that? No. There was a fucking lady right there. What? There was a fucking lady, dude. You didn't see the lady right there? I didn't see anything. There was a fucking lady right here. There was a fucking lady, dude. I swear to you on my mom's grave. Did okay. you see how scared I, I got? I saw her. There was a fucking lady right there. There was so I got this one running. Uh, oh, right towards me? It's getting... It's possible that it's in the mirror. Oh. He saw Did you, I just saw a lady right there. Right over there? Yeah, it's some kind of white dress. And she had some kind of gay, hail or something like that. There was a lady right there. You okay? Yeah, I was scared. He looked oh, shook. Oh, yeah. white, man. He looked shook. Whiter than usual. Did you see how... Did you, why did you hear me? Yeah, I don't know. I was, like, scared. I was about to grab you and hold you. I'm so scared. There was... 
right, right on the other side? Like I Where saw you. Uh, I, was right, I was right. I was right. I was right here. Side. Ah. But did you see me? Like you didn't see the lady right there. I didn't see nothing. I swear. I was. Rather, I did see. I was. Nothing. I said, would you stay here tonight? And I looked over and I saw you. Yeah, she was right there. She was. She was a fucking lady. Dude, there was a lady there. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. She's a lady. <laughs> I'm cool. You all right? That was really, that really scared the shit out of me. I, I know, I heard you. With me or something. No, she's outside smoking. Well, that was it. I told you guys, I saw something. I saw an apparition. This is the end of segment one of our Halloween special from, well, the Ride Hotel in Walnut Grove, California. If you want to find out more about the Ride Hotel, just look it up online. Or if you want to find more about our ghost hunters, Napa City Ghost Tours, uh, just Google it, find out all about them. And their links are all connected up to the website if you want to find out more about them. Oh, part two coming up next. It'll be coming up in a few days. We got a lot more audio to go through to find out some more, well, sounds and ghosts. Enjoy. Happy Halloween.